Okay, we move on to chapter 3 which is selection and speciation. So actually chapter 3 we have a uh, two subtopic. The first one selection, pemilihan, okay? The second one is speciation which is formation of new species. Um for 3.1 selection, we have two types. The first one natural selection and the second one is artificial selection. Okay. For natural selection, actually the selection is done by environment or nature. Okay. So under natural selection, we have three types. Uh, we have stabilizing selection, we have directional selection and we have disruptive selection. For the selection that is uh, select by man or human, which is artificial selection, uh, we have two types. The first one inbreeding and the second one is outbreeding. Okay, And then we move to the next uh, subtopic which is 3.2 speciation which uh, literally meaning formation of new species. We have two types. Uh, two mode actually the first one allopatric speciation and the second one is sympatric speciation and then for the formation of new species actually they are influenced by several factors uh, including reproductive isolation uh, genetic drift hybridization and adaptive radiation so, for today video purpose, I would like to focus more on 3.1, selection, okay, uh, pemilihan. And then, if we have uh, enough time, uh, we will talk about uh, artificial selection. So, we move first to uh, natural selection. Okay, for 3.1, learning outcome is that, the first one, you need to define what is natural selection, Okay, apa itu pemilihan secara natural, okay? And then the second one, state three types of natural selection, okay? Apa jenis uh, pemilihan uh, daripada environment ataupun daripada nature? Uh, pertama, jenisnya adalah stabilizing. The second one, disruptive. And the third one is directional. But usually, I would like to focus on stabilizing first and then directional and then last one, disruptive. Okay, uh, so please take note which one uh, I would say about. Okay, and then for disruptive selection, uh, please take note at the spelling because students usually, they like to change it into destructive selection, uh, which is totally wrong so bukan destructive okay disruptive selection and then the third learning outcome for 3.1 is analyze stabilizing disruptive and directional selection with examples so we will go further on each types of natural selection and we will give you uh, examples for each type of natural selection and then the fourth learning outcome is define artificial selection. And the last one, uh, describe two types of artificial selection. So we have inbreeding and we have outbreeding. Okay, let's move on first to natural selection. Okay, natural selection is a process by which individuals that have certain inherited traits tend to survive and reproduce at higher rate than other individuals because of those traits. Okay, maksud ayat ni adalah untuk natural selection, uh, natural selection adalah satu proses di mana satu individu yang ada satu particular character ataupun traits uh, tend to survive and reproduce at higher rates compared to individual that doesn't have that particular traits. Okay. Uh, I'll give you uh, just... Um, easy example. Uh, let's say in a forest, we have higher trees plant. Okay. Dekat satu forest tu, semua pokok dekat situ ting tinggi. And then we have two types of giraffe, okay? Macam mana nak lukis giraffe ni? <laughs> Kita lukis je lah. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, okay, so we have two types of giraffe. The first one is long neck giraffe. Eh, the first one is short neck giraffe. And the second one is long neck giraffe. Uh, so, kita ada dua jenis lah. Okay. Okay, abaikan je lah yang lain-lain tu. Okay, so we have uh, two types of giraffe. Uh, the first one, short neck giraffe. The second one is long neck giraffe. So, if the forest have higher trees, all the trees in the forest is high or taller, taller trees. So, what happened is that by nature, uh, actually, uh, the long neck giraffe will will survive. Okay, so but long neck giraffe, dia ada characteristic ataupun traits which is long neck, which make uh, the giraffe able to uh, eat the plants from the taller trees okay so dia boleh makanlah tanpa susah payahlah nak terjengkit-jengkit okay so karakter dia dia ada long neck okay but for the short neck giraffe okay disebabkan dia punya leher pendek so uh, the short neck giraffe is unable to eat from any trees in the forest okay so kita nampak dekat sini um Apa yang berlaku adalah the nature or the environment choose which organism they want to uh, make sure survive and reproduce at higher rate. So, kita nampak dekat sini hutan tu eh uh, forest tu sendiri yang memilih long neck giraffe uh, untuk survive and reproduce more compared to short neck giraffe. So, as the time pass by, apa yang berlaku adalah the long neck will survive and reproduce but the short neck will eliminated from the forest okay ataupun from the environment okay sebab dia tak dapat makanlah daripada taller taller trees so if the short neck giraffe uh, nak um, makan juga nak survive dia terpaksa cari environment yang uh, berpihak kepada dia punya traits ataupun character which is short short neck. So, kita nampak dekat sini uh, tidak ada um, so, kita nampak dekat sini tidak ada langsung pemilihan yang ditentukan oleh human but we can see that pemilihan is by, selection is by nature or envi environment. So, ini adalah quick example but do not use this example in your uh, examination. Okay. And then the next point for natural selection. So what happened? Results in favored trait being more represented and unfavored uh, one less or less in next or successive generation. So apa yang berlaku bila natural selection memilih a uh, certain character. So dia akan menyebabkan favored character ataupun favored traits tu akan uh, ditunjukkan lebih pada next generation compared to uh, character yang tidak dipilih. So, macam case giraffe tadi. So, untuk next generation apa yang berlaku kita akan nampak lebih banyak giraffe yang ada long neck compared to short, short neck. Okay. And then uh, after a few times apa yang berlaku adalah kita akan nampak dekat kawasan tersebut semua giraffe have long neck. Uh, and then we do, we can't see any giraffe with short neck. Okay, mungkin they have migrated to new places ataupun mungkin they are eliminated uh, fully from the environment. So, for natural selection, we have three types. Uh, the first one is the uh, stabilizing selection. Usually, I will start with this one. Uh, and then directional selection and the last one is disruptive selection. So, we will go one by one uh, for the latter uh, parts. 
Okay, uh, and then kita sambung lagi point untuk natural selection. And then natural selection involve environment factor as the selecting agent. So, agent yang memilih tersebut adalah environment. Okay, bukan human. And then natural selection usually due to random event. Okay, maksudnya uh, dia event tu tidak dirancang. Okay, unexpected. Lah, ataupun kita panggil happen by chance Contoh macam kes giraf tadi uh, Actually environment tu tak pi, uh, tak pilih pun okay? Ataupun dia tak tentukan pun pokok apa yang akan hidup dekat kawasan tersebut okay? Tapi by chance or randomly Actually pokok yang tumbuh dekat situ semua taller, taller trees uh, So uh, kita katakan uh, untuk natural selection dia berlaku disebabkan random random event ataupun happen by chance okay? uh, bukan uh, nature ataupun environment tu pilih eh, nak uh, pokok rendah lah ataupun eh nak pokok tinggi lah tidak okay? uh, so dia happen by chance lah and then for natural selection uh, individual or members of a population that are physically or behaviorally better adapted to the environment have greater fitness Uh, so, untuk natural selection individu dalam populasi tersebut yang ada yang lebih baik dia punya fizikal dengan behaviorally, uh, dia akan well adapt to the environment. Okay, compared to uh, individu yang tidak uh, bagus dari segi fizikal dan behavior lah. Okay, so I will say that individual will survive and reproduce. So, individu that are not adapted to the environment will fail to survive and will fail to reproduce. So, they will die, okay, before reproduce. And then, uh, for the natural selection, individual that we select, uh, for which is individual that the environment select, uh, usually are strong, tough and fittest, okay. And then the individual, uh, individual which the environment uh, do not or does not select uh, actually weaker, okay, and not fit uh, to live in that environment. And then natural uh, selection results in favorable gene pass to the next generation, whereas less favorable gene become eliminated or disappear. So, yang ni yang saya cakap tadi, uh, macam kes giraf tadi, uh, after nature or environment has select, uh, which traits dia nak untuk um, tinggal dekat situ which is dalam kes tadi adalah long neck giraffe dia punya karakter ataupun traits so untuk long neck kita akan jumpa ataupun gene untuk long neck tu akan pass to the next generation more okay for the short neck gene ataupun traits uh, gene tersebut akan eliminated okay uh, sedikit Sedikit and then lama-lama disappear totally from that environment. Okay, uh, that's all for introduction.